Hills of Mexico, Mexican Cowboy, um, sort of in the style of Willie Watson. This is a uh, scaled down beginner lesson from the advanced lesson that I post posted uh, earlier this week. So um, really had to think about how to, you know, uh, make it easier to play. It's, it's definitely a fast song. I'm playing it very slowly here, but uh, I think it's a great starter tune um, if you're, you know, really starting to get into to playing. Um, this lesson sort of assumes that you uh, at least understand the concept of the, the right hand pattern, the bum diddy, the boom chick or whatever other people call it. Um, but the basic, you don't have to be good at it yet, but just as long as you understand that, because this is a pattern that's going to repeat throughout most of it. So I uh, threw a few little challenges in there, um, nothing too crazy, but um, if you're starting out, um, I think that uh, this would be a great uh, tune to improve your uh, alternating uh, notes between your bum ditties, a few little hammer-ons, a few little slides, nothing too crazy. So, <clears throat> um, again, the, there's a tab in the, uh, the description. I really recommend that you follow along with the tab in the video. That's what I'll be playing to. I'm looking at it right now. Um, and the lessons and videos here are always going to be free, but... Uh, there are uh, tip jars should you uh, feel so inclined. Uh, but hey, let's get started here with the, the tab. You are only going to be utilizing a handful of chords here. One is your open G, pretty simple, um, G standard tuning. Um, your E minor, which if you are unfamiliar, is your second fret D string and second fret on your other D string. The C is keeping that same position, but putting your index finger down on your first fret on your B. So you got G, B minor, C. There is a, another E minor chord you are going to use up here um, at one point. It is a fifth fret on the high D, fifth fret on the B, and fourth fret on the G. So, um, that's when, that one's when we're going up the neck. If you need a reference for all that, it's in the tab. I've got the full chords um, uh, in, within the tablature, so you'll see them there. So, um, Really, this song starts off with a hammer-on. So, um, just a strike and a... It's just a bum to the pattern. So what we're going to do is alternate your notes between your bum ditty. So if you're used to just going going to do and you'll see it along the tab there's we're going to alternate between that so uh you know in a, a g situation you might be going back and forth between your b and your g on your notes and that's the strings that you're striking during the bum ditty so um for the purposes of the first lick you're just going to hammer on and then you're going to strike your open g second bum ditty okay and we're going to slide from the 2 to the 4 uh, on the G string. Another bump ditty. And then you're going, your next strike for your bump ditty is going to be your first E minor. So you're going to hit your high D string, the second fret. Now you're going to start the alternation. And then you're going to go from that to the 2 to the open B. So it's going to sound like this. Just this, the E minor part. Excuse me. All right, and then you're going to end up uh, putting down your index finger. You'll see it marked as the one on the B string. That is the C chord. You alternate between that note and the open G as well. Then we're back home to G again. 
this alternation we're going to do between the B and the G string. So. And then to cap it all off, and I'm going to recap this section. So to cap it all off, there's a little lick. In the advanced version, it's really fast. And this one, I slowed it down. This is one of the little challenges. I think you could do it, though. Um, don't worry so much about your, your pops yet. I do recommend um, coming home each time with your bum ditty. Um, it's not, you know, there are a lot of people out there who don't do it. I just wish somebody would told me in the beginning because I felt like whenever I finally committed to it, I had to go and relearn everything I knew about playing banjo. But it did help me take my playing to a completely different level. Uh, it just really orients your hand when your thumb's coming down every time, like on your... want to make sure that that's coming home it really does give you a lot more control um, so the little lick that caps it off is just the open two oh sorry let me do that a little cleaner open two open on the low high D and then you're gonna go to your G second fret open so, so the whole section sounds like this Simple, right? Pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to move into the second section of the song. This is where we're going to go off the neck a little bit. Don't be afraid. Um, up the neck is is really simple. String beat said there was no money past the fifth fret, and he's probably right about that. But um, it is definitely worth learning. You can play a lot of uh, cool stuff that way. So we're going to go um, starting on the B string on your index finger. It's important which fingers you use here because you got to do a little bit of a slide. So we're going to go, and this is the some old Mexican cowboy, the higher part. So that's the first part, real easy. And then you're going to go up to the seven. Back down to the fifth fret again. And so this is your other E minor chord. So you're going to alternate between the B fifth fret on the B and the fourth fret on the G. So you're going to, all right, so it's going to go. Then we'll go back to C. We've already done this before. Back to G and our little lick. Well, maybe I'll play a little cleaner. See, up the neck isn't scary. Um, that part repeats itself twice. So we're going to just, I'll recap here, play it through, straight through. Um, so you can hear it again. Oh, let me get it. I readjust myself here. that section twice and then um, the sort of like I guess uh, ending of the tune here is pretty much uh, note for note the uh, beginning of the song uh, it's a pretty easy song um, if you uh, felt that this was too easy for you, I do have an advanced version of this that I, pa I posted on my uh, YouTube channel here earlier this week. Um, I have yet to work out an intermediate version. Um, I think I'll probably toy with that later this week here. So, um, like I said, subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this. I also have flat picking guitar. I have mandolin uh, on its way. I, my, my nice mandolin's with a luthier right now. and. Uh, I plan on having lessons and tabs for free just going forward. So, uh, like I said, there's always a uh, tip jar link should you feel inclined. Uh, if not, uh, I'll keep doing this, and uh, hopefully you guys learn something. Thanks.